Hey there guys, how is everybody doing? Um, today I want to show you how to route different microphone positions to separated outputs of your audio interface or into 5.1 surround setups. I did find nothing about it on the internet, no videos, so I thought why not make one fastly and show you guys how to do that. Let's get right into it. So I have here open my contact. Okay, this is contact six. Um, first thing we have to do, if you don't see this already, you press F2 here to see your outputs. So this is a basic stereo configuration now. So what we need to do is tell contact that our sound card has more outputs, more than just a simple stereo pair. I have like a surround setup here and I have a stereo setup. Um, so my surround setup would be six speakers, but why not to make this all separated? I mean, I could go and make here uh, six channels and it would be a surround output. I could just simply uh, um, choose it there at the output configuration, you will see later on, and assign it to all six speakers. But I would not have to, uh, the flexibility to route my speakers or route the microphones to my individual speakers. So let's go there. Let's create one channel. We have already the stereo channel, right? Which is my basic output. I'm going to create one channel, which is going to be my center channel. Where usually the dialogue sits. You don't want a lot of music happening there, but this is just for you to know how to route things exactly and do whatever you wish to do. We can also route something into our LFE channel, which would be the subwoofer, okay? And let's create another two channels, which will be the left and right surrounds. So we go here, L LS, left surround and right surround, okay? Now we need to configure the outputs of our sound card. We click here. <clears throat> this will be channel 3 on my sound card, which goes directly to the to the center channel. On 4, I have the LFE. And on 5 and 6, as I told you, are my surround speakers. Okay, this is the first thing you need to do when you want to make this, okay? Then you can go here and say, save output selection preset as whatever you give it a name. Here is mine. Um, Astral's 5.1 single output setup, okay? I already did. I will resave it. Why not? It's the same. Okay, and now I will take whatever instrument I want to, to route. I take Spitfire Violins 1, for example. Just the basic. Problem is you will not hear the routings that I'm going to make here because it's just a, a stereo setup, the OBS, okay? <clears throat> but what we can do, let's go just to the three marks here. You click on this letter and here you have them, your outputs. So let's route them, for example, to the center channel. You cannot hear it, but it's here in the center channel. And I can do the same to the back speakers, left and right surrounds. Wow, this was bad. <laughs> so let me turn all those on. We could use like the close mics, for example, in the center channel. If you don't work on a movie, it's possible. And the three mics to the stereo and the ambient mics to the surrounds. Sounds wonderful. That's how you root your audio. And I saw this function, I didn't check it yet, but you can say save current output section state as default for all formats. Means you will have always the possibility to do this. And you don't need to change this here, you know, I mean here you have the output. And you could also do it like this, so the entire instrument would be rooted to this, okay? That's it. I hope this helps somebody.